I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to go over the basics of the boxing stance. For a beginner fighter, beginner boxer, the boxing stance you need is one that's solid and grounded and allows you to attack with basic punch combinations and allows you to defend with basic defensive techniques. Okay, you don't need something that forces you to move around and be shifty and all that. That's for the advanced fighters. Basic guys, just be able to stand, be able to attack, be able to defend. So here's a solid basic boxing stance. Uh, first starting with the width. You don't want something too narrow that you can't ground, you can't stand right because you're so easily pushed off balance. You also don't want something so wide. Being this wide is going to wear out your legs. Okay, you also, you can only take small steps so you're forced to jump around a lot. Alright, so you want something in here so you can take nice big steps but you're still wide enough that you're grounded and you're still tall and you don't want to give up your reach. Okay, next. You don't want to stand square like this because you, 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 you're a big target and you can't block both your head and body at the same time and when one hand punches, the whole side is open. Okay, make yourself a smaller target. Turn sideways, not, not two sideways like this because now I can't reach with the back hand. I have to twist over myself. Bring this back foot out a bit so that you have reach with the right hand. Okay. Now in boxing they have something called the toe heel alignment line. We imagine there's a line coming down the center. You put your front toe on the line and then your back heel on the line. Okay, that makes you a small target but still gives you good reach with both hands. Now, the front foot, the front foot is generally pointing forward about, you know, towards your opponent. And the back foot is about 45 degrees, sometimes a little narrower, sometimes a little wider, you know. Your heels will shift around when you throw power punches. Okay, when you throw a jab, you don't do anything with your feet. They, they just stay right there. Now your back heel is always lifted from your basic stance. And when you throw the jab, your back heel will be lifted. Okay, just slightly. As long as it's lifted slightly, that's it. Your knees will also be bent slightly. You don't have to bend so much that you feel like you're working your legs. That's not necessary. And you don't want to be so straight that you can't control. You want to have your knees bent slightly give you that range to move around, be shifty, throw punches, pivot, block, whatever you need. Okay, bend the knees slightly. Upper body. The head is um, the head is generally coming straight up. I mean, not like this, not so straight up, but the head is up. And for some coaches, they teach your fighters to lean the head to one side a little bit or tilt the chin down. Okay, that's fine. If you're going to tilt the chin down, just tilt the chin down. Don't hang your head over here like this. Leave all the space in front of you. You want, your, okay, you want your, your head to be behind your shoulder when you punch, not in front of it, okay, where you're vulnerable. Now let's talk about the hands. Right, uh, the right glove will be up here at the cheek level, probably be touching your cheek or hovering right next to your cheek. Okay, if you bring it any higher, you're going to cover your eyes. And if you bring it any lower, then you expose yourself. So put it right here on the cheek. And it's, it's like able and ready to block the jab or, or the left hook, but it's right here on your cheek. Palm facing you, okay? The left hand, the left hand is also covering your chin, but not covering your eyes. And, and you're gonna let the left hand out a little bit so that you can throw those jabs faster. If you put it all the way in here, the jab takes forever to come out. Okay, so you want a little bit of a faster jab. So generally, the palms are facing you, hands covering your chin, but not your eyes. Okay, and don't worry about protecting the top of your head. If he throws a punch up there, you can lift to block. And if he throws a body shot, you drop a little bit to block. Okay, and you need your elbows in. Don't have your elbows out like this. And for beginners, I don't recommend for you to face your palms out like this because then it, it makes your elbows float. Bring the palms in, elbows in. Okay, knees slightly bent. Feet shoulder width apart. Put your feet on the toe heel alignment line. And then be relaxed. Open your hands, relax your body, be able, you know, Give it a breathing stance. So anyways, this basic boxing stance will give you offensive opportunity, defensive opportunity, very easy to do, and it's a good starting point for beginning boxers. Thanks for watching.